Hi everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Growth Tarot. I'm Denise and I, I think today is March 24th, I think. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a Wednesday. Anyway, when you work seven days a week, it's um, sometimes hard keeping track of days. But anyway, I think I opened up a can of worms around um, Amy Culty Barrett. And so I went into the reading really cold, totally forgot about her decrepit, weird, weird, weird past. Uh, so I did, I've done some more research on, on her and um, thanks you guys so much for all the awesome questions and comments that it helped refresh my memory and go back in time. So, you know, basically I was looking for uh, her integrity, her her level of integrity. And then I remembered, wait a minute. <laughs> How could she have any integrity when she accepted the nomination? Uh, you know, like what was it? 60 days or less or something before an election? Who does that if you have any integrity? I mean, um, at least 9 million voters had already uh, cast their ballots in um, in the general election. So, whoa, you know, I mean, where does her, her level of integrity come in there? And then one of you guys had, our gals, I think, had the, oops, had the question as to whether or not um, she was abusive to her children. Well, uh, I'll use the cards to find out if she's outright like physically abusive or emotionally abusive. Like, does she yell, you know, is she verbally abusive or f physically abusive? But uh, the facts, again, indicate she had them at her, you know, out there in the Rose Garden uh, with Trump. You know, I think I think he was like standing right behind well, at least one of them. Nobody was wearing masks. It was, um, you know, right in the middle of it. And I think it was 10 days later. So all her kids were there at the Rose Garden with her after her confirmation. Um, it was her confirmation celebration. Ugh. Anyway. Yeah. So what are we doing? Celebrating a cult member uh, on the on the Supreme Court? I mean, what is that about? But, so, I don't care how many kids she has and how many she's adopted and if one of them special needs and, oh, you're such a, you know, I, I mean, I have my bias. I do. So I have to fully disclose that. I'm, you know, after refreshing my memory and looking more at her history. So, I... Let's look first as to whether or not, I mean, she, she definitely didn't, she wasn't looking out for her children's safety when she had them there in the Rose Garden. And Bill Barr was right there and, um, you know, lots of people. And I think it was 10 or 11 people that came down with COVID right after that ceremony. So again, that was one of Trump's, uh, another one of Trump's uh, super spreader events. Okay, so using the, I'm going to use this little deck here. Maybe Lenamon by Ryan Edward. And um, I'm going to ask some questions as to her relationship with her, her children. Is she abusive? What kind of a mom is she? That's interesting. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of lay them out here on the top of my laptop and then hold them up. Because these cards, they, they work in relationship with each other, different than tarot, where, you know, with tarot you have, you have a card in a certain position and that, that's, you know, what's that, that card means that, you know, that the, the meaning of the position makes a huge difference. But the way the Lunamon and the Kipper work is the cards all relate to each other. You know, they tell a story. So here, here in the middle, you know, here's our, here's our theme. 
in the center, like holding everything together, is the fish. So that this tells me she's kind of transactional uh, in nature. She's a bit, um, she's focused on the money. This could have to do with, um, I don't know if she drinks. Um, it, it often indicates drinking, uh, but it's, but it's a it's the card primarily of just you know a lot well what's around it is and because i'm asking about her kids i don't need to get the child card because that's the focus of the question i um, what's around it is this like mama lion kind of uh she might be protective but this is like you know this 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 is roaring, you know, and I used to get this card all the time if I would ask about Trump and it was his predatory nature. So we have that. I mean, that's right there next to this fish card indicating a lot. So I think she yells at them a lot. I think she whips them into shape, uh, kind of, you know, like, ugh. Um, and I'm, I'm asking uh, right out from the get go, I'm asking does she um does does she you know abuse them in any way and and right off i have the um the the key card and that the key card is always a yes card so there is abuse i um, she might not intentionally um well on one level there was the lack of safety at the rose garden right I, but th so this is literally, yes, she yells at them. And I don't know how, um, how protective she is because she wasn't protective at that. She wasn't protective at all. And I think she had all seven of them there. I mean, thank goodness kids aren't as, most kids aren't, aren't as, um, susceptible to COVID, but she had them all there. And that tells me she's, that's not good. Now with the coffin card next to the fish, this tells me that I'm, um, yeah, this could be, it's, it's usually endings, but it's painful endings. So maybe I'm getting a little read into the future because the next card is the bear. And this is all about, you know, money power protection that's the meaning of the card um it also has to do with um you know stomach issues um yeah that's uh, that's interesting but then check it out at the end here well or one of one of the close to the end we have uh the snake so she's not to be trusted. She's uh, she's kind of a complicated person. I uh, she'll bite, you know. She'll she'll just come out of the bushes. Like if you just look at the image here, she'll come out of the bushes, and if she's pushed, you know, if she, or if she's yeah, if she'll just she'll bite. I mean, to have to have these two actually. Well, let's put it would be this more in the middle. And this one here these are these are the three cards that indicate um, bullying and danger so i think she's verbally abusive i think she's bossy very very this is a bossy card and then she'll bite if she needs to so yeah okay we've confirmed she is um abusive to her children for entertainment purposes only <laughs> God. All right. Okay. So <clears throat> next question. So her and her husband, I'll do a separate reading on him after this is, this is Amy Coney Barrett, Culty Barrett, sorry, Amy Culty Barrett part two. And next I'll, I'll read on her husband. I think his name's Jesse or something like that. But anyway, I, uh, I could look at their relationship too in this reading, I suppose. Um, uh, but this part, I want to know, is she still, is she still in a cult? Are they still, you know, involved in a cult? It was, what was it, the um, people of praise or peoples of praise, something like that. 
and supposedly they were, uh, well, there was an article I found in, in Associated Press, AP, and, you know, they, they don't print, they, they don't, they don't write, they don't print, and they have investigative journalists, and they go through, go through, go through, go through troves of information before they even publish, uh, whether it's online or print. So you can trust them, and I'll, um, I'll link that, I'll try to remember, if I forget, please remind me. I'll try to link that article uh, to into the description area of the video. Okay, so is she and her husband, or even, or just her, are they still involved in? Um, well, how about I look at the past, present, and future? Get a get a feel for past, present, and future with the peoples of praise to see if they're because the, the cards will tell me whether or not they're um, still involved. If I do it that way, okay. So past, okay. So so I have the book which is all about secrets, but it's also, this could be looked at as like some form of a sacred text. It, there's there, This card is multi-meaning, multi-dimensional, so I, I, I don't want to go into all the meanings, but in the context of this question, which is the way you, you know, we all should read when we're reading, is focus back into the question. Uh, yeah, she's gone by the book. She's gone by the book in the past. Again, we get the key, this is yes, this is the yes card. And then here, this is her in the middle of these five cards. And here, this is her again with the lion uh, indicating the loyalty to the, you know, the pride, the clan, right? It's a very clannish card. And then this card, the house comes up to remind me that they, um, I can't remember how many, how many years or whatever, but they lived in a house that was owned by, um, the people who ran are the leaders of the people of praise. So that's interesting. Okay. So let's, let me shuffle again and let's look at presently. So presently, are they still involved with the people of praise or any other kind of cult? Okay. That's an offshoot of what she calls, you know, Catholicism, but I don't think it is the way they're running it. So are they still involved? I don't think so, because this is the ending card. This is, means that it's over. This is, this is, co well, it used to be my COVID card, but it's about caretaking and it's about illness. So I think maybe, you know, if we look at being in a cult, we would say this is the ending of the, of that illness because it is a mental illness to be in a cult, right? So this, this tells us about her past. Um, but she was for a very long time uh, committed. And then suddenly, because this card was first, so we've got these bookends here, uh, suddenly she ended it, probably because she was about to be nominated. Because she did not disclose anything about being in, in her, at her um, hearing. I don't know if people asked her outright about the peoples of praise. I can't remember so long ago, but um, they, um, she didn't disclose it in her, um, I guess there are many forms that you fill out, of course, which you know, makes sense that we would need to do that. Um, so, okay, so next I want to look at, um, I'm trying to decide if this is the be best deck to use to, um, to look into her relationship with her husband. Um, Yeah, might as well, actually. And then I'm trying to think, is there anything else I wanted to ask um, about her besides them? Uh, 
Yeah, let's look at there. Actually, no, I'm going to use this other deck. I've got this. I, I might not. Um, I might not know all the meanings of these cards. It's it's like I think there's 80 cards. Looks like I messed it up already. Hate it when my decks get messed up, man. Um, anyway, it's it's a, it's a Lenamon deck, but it's extended, so there are many, 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 many more cards. So let me tune into them. I, I saw his I saw his picture online this morning, so I remember what he looks like. So that's Jesse. I guess it's Jesse Barrett. So at first, let, let's just look at their relationship. What's the basis of their relationship? You know, because their their cult that they uh, belong to it doesn't look like they they're still in it. Uh, it's uh, the the cult. <laughs> they're not and fuck, you guys. They make the uh, women subservient to the men. Like you obey, you obey your man. Oh man, you know what I want to say about that, but I can't. <laughs> well, I could, I could, but then I have to change all my. Um, YouTube makes us go through these, jump through these hoops to say, like, what's in our videos. Seriously, I, if you guys knew what we went through just to be able to publish nowadays. But it's okay, because I'd rather, I'd rather have safety on the platform. Okay, so the basis of Jesse and get, I get the picture of them in my mind again. Jesse and Amy. Okay, so what is their relationship like? <laughs> okay, all right, so <laughs> uh, with the stars, it was intentional. It was intentional. I don't know that they came together. I don't have not one loving card here. It w was intentional, uh, almost like an arranged marriage. Uh, it's depressing with the coffin. So, so this was the stars, in case anyone's learning Lena Mon. Uh, and it's all about intention, hopes, wishes, and dreams, things like that. Uh, navigating through life based on you know the stars. But when it comes to relationship, you would have to say uh, maybe maybe they were starry eyed starry eyed in the beginning together. But it's also the card of intention, and the key word I heard in my head was you know uh, intentional. But now it's depressed and it's sad. This is the coffin. This is also a card of divorce. I. Um, and the fish tells me that it's a transactional relationship. And uh, the bee, well, the bee, the, in the context of this question, it just tells me that they work together. I, this is not a queen bee. This is just a bee. So this tells me like there's uh, some type of like collaboration together, but I think that they think like insects. I don't think they think through things thoroughly. I think they operate from more of an insect type of a brain. And then this this trunk it means that they're they're holding things together. They've been holding things together. There's you notice the there's a lock there on it. So maybe there's some secrets like what's in that trunk. And then we have the fox. The fox is all about something's wrong, uh, it's sneaky, it's uh, cunning, it's sly, uh, you know, foxes sneak into the hen house and eat your chickens, right? I mean, it's this is like the little assassin card in the deck. When it comes to a relationship, this tells me something's wrong. 
something's wrong, somebody's sneaky. And something's wrong with the way they communicate, and um, yeah, something's wrong. So, oh, and then I have the spider. So there's a there's a web, you know, there's a complicated, very, very complicated web uh, that has to do with the way they communicate. Goodness. Yeah, and then with the ship, it may be changing, maybe moving on. There it could also be that there's some type of um, foreign, because this is, this is a card of foreign, you know, foreign, could be some kind of foreign interference, uh, you know, because I do have the money card here. So that's interesting. Yeah, so that's... That's what I get with, with the Lunamon. Let's use the tarot for a moment. Um, hold on, I have to allow for reversals here. Okay, this way. Oops, okay. Let's see what, what's with the tarot, because tarot is tarot's excellent for uh, teaching us about relationships. What is their relationship like? Well, well, every single card is reversed. So let me show it to you upright first. So I have the, the Ten of Wands, which of, of course is all about burdens. Uh, you know, heavy load to carry, but it came through reversed. So that tells me they were there. The basis of their relationship is about delegating, and um, you know, maybe trying to relieve stress. Uh, none of these cards are loving that I have here. Again, and with the with the Lenormand, no heart cards. Nothing, nothing to do with love. I'm, um, yeah, this, that, that's, that's not so good. Okay, and then the next card I got, well, it's the Seven of Wands, but again, that's reversed. This has to do with healthy boundaries and taking a stand, but, you know, you're, you've, you've been in a battle. You can see the figure here, he doesn't even have the same shoes on. He, he's been fighting so long, or he's in such a hurry in a battle that uh, he's, you know, didn't grab both shoes that match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but so reversed, it, and these are, you know, these are both wands, so we're talking creativity, passion, uh, you know, fighting for the truth sometimes, but when it comes through reversed with this seven, this is like a loss of control, this is being overwhelmed and, um, you know, giving up, and it's, you know, it's like it's a big waste of time. Their relationship is a big waste of time. And then I have the three of um, pentacles, uh, which would be teamwork and collaboration. But, of course, it came through reverse, so that turns it all around into that they don't work together well, they don't play together well, uh, they don't care. It's not, it's not happening. And then... And then I get the Nine of Swords, which is like insomnia, the dark night of the soul. It has everything to do with um, stress, anxiety, but it it came through reversed as well. So, so I'm kind of thinking that um, that they're just avoiding others and they're struggling. And I feel like, you know, maybe they're facing their fears. I don't know, but I feel like. Uh, it's still not good. I mean, for a relationship, and then and then I have the Knight of Swords, which is all about you know charging into battle and going really quickly. But it came through reversed. So that that tells me that um, there's no direction. Their relationship is direction directionless. And one of the awful things about this card, when it comes through reversed, is that somebody's very unpredictable. And somebody could be very violent. I'm guessing it's her husband. 
but I'll read on him next and we'll, we'll see what comes through. Um, so I think that's it as far as, yeah, I, I think that's it. I think that's it. Oh, no, it's not. There was one more question and I actually shuffled the deck way ahead of time. So this is, um, this deck is that's not available anymore. It's out of print, but it has uh, yes and no cards in it. And it's it's a Lenamon deck. And I shuffled it already ahead of time to look at look at her future on the bench. Uh, we got a lot, you know, from the tarot yesterday, but I want to see I did because I didn't ask if she would be removed. And I was using Kipper, which doesn't have cards in that deck that shows uh, well, we did get the imprisonment card. So there's that, but um, now I want to know, like, will she, what's her future on the bench? Will she be removed? Or need to resign or something? No, it doesn't look like it. So, so the stars has to do again, you know, with um, her navigating, but then I get the, the, uh, the anchor. So that means she's in like she's she's in for good, I uh, at least for a while. I think they're really hard to remove. i um, and I'll draw some more cards, of course. But then we have the clouds. Now, of course, clouds move, and you know things change. But this is like doubts. This this card, the keywords about you know for this card, it has to do with with doubts and. Um, hesitating and darkness actually and when it comes to like personalities uh this is this is a really dark card so she's not going to be happy i remember with the um with the the tarot reading yesterday it looked like she was just not having any fun at all i but as far as being being removed i, I get the the key so that can be yes but this anchor here is a little contradictory oh i get it her intention is to stay oops you know because we're dealing with somebody who's like you know part of the handmaid's tale and she doesn't know any better to get to get out uh, that type of thing it, from all these spreads of these cards i can tell that she's um she doesn't care if she's happy or not that doesn't the, the thought of joy and I remember in her um, tarot reading yesterday in her karma she had the five of pentacles the karma she brought in to heal was the five of pentacles and the ace of pentacles and they were both reversed so it's more about the money for with her uh, but so this this hanging in there staying you know staying staying put there is um, could be doubtful if you know if I read those two cards together. Now the key comes in, and, and I asked my question was, will she be removed? This is the yes card, so it's possible. I'm um, with the clover. It looks like there's an opportunity, but so I, I'm going to need to just keep drawing some more cards. Will she be removed? Oh, no, I mean this. This is all about. Um, you know a commitment it's a that's a commitment that's a commitment and then there's this control with the bear with the ring there's com commitment with the bear there's control but with the mice there's loss loss and lots and lots and lots of stress just eating away at you like every day yeah i don't know i mean there's, I get the, the ship card again, which, you know, that's about kind of like moving, moving forward, um, change, but then the, then the tree. So there could, that, that could indicate that there's a health issue, but then here we have the cross. So that's a big burden. So there could be a health burden for her. Wow. Yeah. 
and then I get the garden and then that that just indicates that you know the public like there's a burden on her because I, I don't think the public I think as the years move on you know the months and years move on I think the public is going to be um, more and more uh, disgusted with her uh, I don't know how she's going to vote in the future and things we know she's very um, pro-life and like anti-choice there's all that uh, but we're, we're going to have to go through a burden with her as far as like you know the decisions that come through with documents on you know on the bench that she'll sign uh, you know thank thank goodness um Thank goodness she didn't vote to, um, of course, m maybe her and Brett might have been the only two that would have wanted to, you know, her and Kavanaugh might have been the only two that wanted to vote to keep Trump in, but they they both betrayed him. Neener, neener, neener. <laughs> yeah, I'm seven. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Well, I'm going to sign off with this one, and I'll uh, I'll be back. I'll, I think I'll start getting it uploaded, and then I'll be back to read on uh, her husband. Okay, thanks, you guys. Bye.